Hey guys, it's me Poppy Green here. Yes, I'm still making videos. No, I'm not back yet. Um, if everything goes according to plan, I should be back by next month. Well, from when you're seeing this, by December. But anyhow, I'm gonna work more on this closet in the bathroom. I have three more shelves to do. The one shelf I can't really do a whole lot with because most of it, because as you saw before, we did the bottom shelf, which is kid stuff, bath products, and overstock. So like extra body wash for daddy, extra hair wash. It, so like my specialty shampoos that I don't use every day. Extra body wash, anything like that. The next drawer, the next shelf is makeup. And nails. The next one is supposed to be towels, hand towels, and washcloths. But, whoops. Most of the towels are downstairs in the laundry that need to be put away. So, we're going to go through, oh, and my back We're going to go through this. Hmm, hold on, guys, I have another towel. We're going to see what we can get rid of. We're going to keep Okay. Sorry guys, I'm back. So that's today's task. So we have this magic towel. It's not in too bad a condition. That is Mulan. We have another magic towel. I really like to use magic towels. My favorite. Mulan is my second favorite princess. This is my favorite princess Jasmine. We have this hand towel that we legitimately never use, so we're going to get rid of it. Someone gave it to us. We have a Poppy Troll magic towel that we're going to keep. We have an Arthur DW magic towel if you're a 90s kid, y'all. No. Sorry, my next door neighbors are fighting. It's really annoying. The one thing I hate about living here is you can hear everything through the walls. And yes, I know this shirt was going backwards, by the way. I didn't realize that too a little bit ago, but I don't even care. We have another magic towel that's still in pretty good condition. From the Finding Dory movie. We have a baby towel that doesn't go on that shelf. Baby washcloth. We have when I was obsessed with Shimmer and Shine. A Shimmer and Shine magic towel. We have another, I don't know how I ended up with two of these. But another I'm Fluent in Whale magic towel. We have my back brace, which I'm probably going to get rid of because it doesn't fit me properly because I'm so short. And then we have our one hand towel that's clean that we're keeping, which is this one, which I've never used, but it's, if you've seen my Lord of the Rings hoodie, Basically same thing. 
I got this from a bargain bin store we used to have. So soft. That no longer exists. And then all the magic towels are from Dollar Tree. You just don't know about magic towels. Okay, this next shelf we're going to do is baby products. One random item that's just sitting there because it doesn't fit anywhere else. I might have to put it on top with the mouthwash. It's too tall. And hair care tool. Hair, bathroom tools. So we have this split into two sections. So I like to section it out by what the items are. are really annoying. They're banging and being obnoxious. Which I'm, honestly, if this shit doesn't stop, I'm about to say something to the landlord and be like, hey, so I just want you guys just let you know that, they, that they're literally banging and making noise at all ungodly hours of the night. And I'm getting really sick and tired of it. Because technically we have a noise ordinance in our lease, contracted into our lease, which ends at 9 o'clock. Which I mean, it isn't 9 o'clock yet, but still. Like, I don't get how they're being that loud when they have kids. Their kids are probably, I want to say like 2 and 3. They're 2 and 3 or 2 and 4, something like that. And it really pisses me off. Because our baby is trying to sleep. Okay. So first type of product we have is baby wash. If someone gave me this Aveeno body wash and shampoo. We're going to keep that. Yeah, this is what we're here needs to be put away too. These shampoos and body wash. This is nighttime baby wash, which as you can see, we've used quite a bit of. And baby shampoo at Propanella. Um, those we got as baby shower gifts. Let's see, we have a Johnson & Johnson head to toe body wash. This one gave us, and this one I think I got as like a sample. I'm going to give me like a travel set. So I'm going to try those. I know a vino body lotion does not work for him. We have bathtub finger paint soap that we actually got for the big kids, but they don't use. So we're going to use it for him. We have moisturizing hand and body foam soap that we use for Gaby. So they're just from, this one I believe is from Walmart. The other one is from Dollar Tree. We have shampoo conditioner. This is Milk Baby. Got this from Dollar Tree for him. Then we have a Johnson Johnson head to toe body wash that we got as a free sample. We have another finger paint bath soap that. We don't, that the big kids didn't use it. We bought them for Christmas last year. Because daddy doesn't ever, daddy just has them use his soap. 
Then we have a uh, Niqui 3 in 1 watermelon shampoo, conditioner, body wash. That again, we got for the big kids. These are both from Walmart. Oh, Daddy doesn't have them use yet. We have a hand body moisturizing foam soap. Again, it's from Dollar Tree. For the kids, we have a baby shark one that, again, the kids don't use. The big kids. So that came in a set that they got for Christmas last year. You can actually go buy that set at Walmart right now. It's out for the holidays. We have a, another one of these ones. And one of these ones. Another one of these ones. So I think that's the one he's been using. We have a body wash crayon. And another body wash crayon. And another body wash crayon. We've got these again for the big kids, but they have not used them. We have a body wash shampoo that's been used a little bit for Gaby. Someone gave us that to try. Then we have all his lotions and creams. So we have eczema relief. This is not the strongest, but second strongest. Cause this is the same, cause he has eczema on and off. And this is the same brand I use for myself. So we have two of these for Gabe. So I, cause he's got skin like I do. I don't have eczema. I have, uh, it's called chicken skin. We have a Dove Baby Rich Moisturizing Lotion that someone gave us that we're gonna try. And this Head to Toe Extra Baby Moisturizing Cream that someone gave us that we're gonna try. We have baby powder for Gaby's booty. His rashes get bad enough. But we don't keep most of the stuff in here. We do you have another baby? We do have like diaper cream and stuff too. We have Vaseline left over from his circumcision that we keep on hand in case we need it for whatever we may need it for. Moisturizing the skin, diaper brushes, anything really. We have Gaby's Aura Gel Toothpaste. This is watermelon fluoride free training toothpaste. And then we have his two brushes. These are both from Dollar Tree, and this is from Walmart. And the Vaseline is actually from the hospital. We have Gabe's little bath duck that tells you the temperature, which needs to go in with his little toys down there. We have cooling gel, twin pack, drug free, or baby aura gel. We have this baby cough syrup and Mylocon. I'm not sure if he can still use the Mylocon. I think he might be too old. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the cup. Like a wipe or something to clean this off with. Just use some wet paper towel. Okay, so anywho, you have other medicine for him, but it's downstairs. 
We have kids and face, kids face and body wipes for when in between baths. We have watermelon kiwi and mango, and those look like lemons. Just brought those to try for him. We have his nail file. We also have his nose picker, but that's downstairs. His nose and ear picker. And the instructions for that. Then we have all his clean washcloths. This one. Then we have all these that were gifted to us. That still have not been used to this day. Then we have our hair tools. So we have my Conair wet dry straightener that I'm obsessed with. That I got at Walgreens because the first one I had got all gross. We have my hair dryer, which happens to also be Conair from Walmart because BB stole my pink one that I had. And she says, oh, I save everything you ever give me. Bitch, no you don't. I see you post half it online. You have a men's razor shaver head. Here's Daddy's electric shaver with charger. I think I got that from Walmart as well. His hair clippers are actually downstairs, but those are, for, maybe those are from Walmart as well. I'm not totally sure. Then we have my Conair. Curling iron that I bought from Amazon. So I saw it on a video on YouTube. And then we also have our pump in there for Gabe's little blow up tub. That's that drawer. That shelf completely cleaned. And we have our top shelf, which is supposed to be period products, hair dye products, and toilet paper which turned into a junk thing. Turned into razors. Turned into like a little bit of everything. I have to clean this off. Let me see exactly what is even up here. Quite reach a little too short, guys. Ugh. Okay, sorry, I'm about five inches too short. Oh, okay, so we have. Some more ointment, which belongs down there. We have two things of strong and soft TP from Dollar Tree. I like to have four unopened and four. So we have a Scott's Comfort Plus. It doesn't really matter when I buy it. And the Scott's Comfort Plus, all from Dollar Tree. And then we have our opened one. Another. Then we're gonna go through this, catch all. So we have these Sure and Fresh maxi pads. Ugh, because 
them on my period. We have some more Sure and Fresh Maxi Pads. This bin is supposed to be hair dye stuff, but it turned into pads, too. We have Super Organic Cotton Pads. We have, I don't know what these are. There's a mix of a couple different things in here. We have... Clean and Secure U by Kotex, little pads. We have more, this is Overnight Organic Cotton Pads. These are all from Dollar Tree. Then we have the Feelings Pads. And then we have a Menstrual Heat Patch, which these work really well. Then we have my hair dye bucket, which has gloves, a hair dye bottle, my Michael Mercier Tango brush. My mom got me the wrong one. She did it based on color. Not realizing the colors meant something. We have that kind of comb. We have this kind of comb. This is my old hair brush that I use for hair dye. Between that stuff, we'll put the pads and stuff. So I'll put closed pads in the back, open pads in the front, so I can use up the open pads first. I think I've got so many open pads. I've got three bag of open pads. And then I currently don't need this because I'm got my period Friday and today's Tuesday, so I should have two more days left of my period, so I don't need that. Too far along. Usually I only need that the first day, maybe two, depending on if it's gonna be a bad period or not. Then, what else do we have? We have some other random stuff up here, too. That I sure can go elsewhere. We have two toilet bowl tabs. I was keeping them underneath the sink. The kids were getting into them. Even though the kids can obviously unlock this, they're not stupid. They're seven and nine. Then I have Daddy's razors and more of Daddy's razors. And he has a pack downstairs too. Oh, so I think I'm gonna throw the open pack in with his stuff that he used all the time, and these are gonna go in here. Overflow. So yeah, that's everything I have in this cupboard, and that cupboard is officially done. And I didn't get rid of much from those couple shelves. Most of it was stuff I needed. Oh, and I do have also. I thought. I, don't worry. Lice combs, I need to go up there as well. I thought I had lice. I do not have lice. I don't know what's going on in my head because my head is itchy and irritated. But after checking my head like three times, it is definitely not lice. Let's go in with my hair dye stuff. But anywho, I'm gonna go now. Catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.